Welcome to our Raspberry Pi programming projects. This one's called the Blinking LED. If you like our videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel and to also give us a thumbs up as it helps us support various projects and also project kits. So let's begin. Things needed for this project is one, a red LED, one 220 ohm resistor and three wires red black and orange the short wire or the short pin is the negative connection the longer wire or pin is the positive connection install the led with the shorter pin on the left install a resistor on the left pin of the led and install the other half of the resistor to the negative bar on the project board. Install an orange wire on the right pin of the LED. Now install a red wire on the red bar of the project board and install a black wire on the negative bar of the project board. On the Raspberry Pi, install a red wire onto the first pin on the left side of the GPIO port. Now install a black wire on the third pin on the right side of the GPIO port. Now install an orange wire on the sixth pin on the right side of the GPIO port. Now let's do some programming using Thony on the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get a library and just type in exactly what's on there rpi.gpio and remember everything is case sensitive and we need another library called time and make sure when you type these in there's no semicolons on this and now we need to set the warnings for gpio set warnings to false and the next one we're going to do is another gpio and we're going to set a mode and this mode is going to be as a gpio period bcm okay and we're going to use another one we're going to set we're going to do a setup as pin 18 is gpio out and that's the orange wire so we need to do a loop. So this loop will continue while it's true. We're going to say the GPIO output, okay, which is pin 18, is true. And now we're going to put a delay, which is time, which is one second. Now we're going to do a GPIO output on the same pin which is 18 as false, which is an off. And the time dot sleep is going to be one second. So now we save this code and we put a name in the top box and then hit OK in the lower right. And then you click Run. And now on the board, the LED lights. If you like this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we will be doing a lot of Raspberry Pi projects. And remember the most important thing, keep on learning.